So I'm back again with another shoe review and it's another Bond shoe. So I've got a few other comparisons here as well from other Bond movies. So today it's going to be the Tetbury from Crockett and Jones uh, and this was in the movie Skyfall. So let's get it open. So Daniel Craig wears these shoes um, in Turkey when he's doing the chase at the beginning of Skyfall and he's, uh, he's on a motorcycle and then he's on the top of a train <clears throat> and then he gets shot. And people always ask what the knife is, so that's today a Medford knife. <clears throat> okay. So here we are. Usual green Crockett and Jones box. It's a bit, a bit smashed out unfortunately. Oh dear. Feels, this one feels very tightly packed compared to normal. Um, So we've got the usual, usual letter. Um, thank you for the purchase. We've got the usual book, the supply, and then some information on mail orders. <clears throat> Returns procedure. I always get the same size crock and jeans, so I've never had to return a pair yet. Then onto the shoes. usual protective shoe bag. So if I'm comparing these two, um, <clears throat> for example, uh, the James that I got a couple of weeks ago. So obviously the James has the black leather soles. Um, this has the rubber sole, Daynut rubber sole, similar to the um, Molten Boots. So you can wear these, I reckon, with, you know, you could wear these with jeans or you could wear a suit like, you know, Daniel Craig does in the movie with Tom Ford's suit. Um, these will be kind of my, I'll, I'll get the hybrid as well, but these will be kind of a, a everyday shoe in terms of, you know, being in the office. Um, the James pair, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna wear that regularly. Um, I did wear them, I wore them twice. Um, you can see there's scuffs on the sole. It's actually handled pretty well because I did walk quite a bit. So I'm surprised it's not marked more. <laughs> Um, but anyway, the Ted Bree. I'll just take this out. It's only got two, two lace holes. And if I just compare it to the Molten as well. The Molten's got three. <clears throat> You can see quite a big uh, 
the heel on the molten is quite a lot bigger as well. Just take the other one out. So overall, um, again, you know, with these Crock and Jones shoes, you know, I've got loads of pairs that have lasted, you know, years and years, and they can always be repaired because of the uh, construction. So, um, yeah, these will last. They last a lifetime. So overall, very happy. I'll give them a try over the weekend. Alright, thanks for watching.